artificial intelligence seems to be changing so many parts of our lives so incredibly quickly, and healthcare is no exception. Researchers say AI will change the future of medicine, and that naturally has some doctors out there wondering what it means for treating patients. So we're bringing in Dr. Mark Siegel, joining me now here uh, to talk about this. Good to see you, doctor. Great to see you, Aisha. So I actually want to pull up this quote. Um, the New York Times did a write-up on this. and I'm going to read it to you. It says, call for number one. It says, perhaps being an expert doesn't mean being a fount of information, but synthesizing and communicating and using judgment to make hard decisions. AI can be part of the process, just one more tool that we use, but it will never replace a hand at the bedside, eye contact, understanding what it is to be a doctor. Doctor, how, how do you think AI is going to change the doctor-patient relationship? How do you see it? Aisha, I'm hoping it doesn't, but I'm very excited about it. And let me, go, let me go through this with you. First of all, in medical school, in my entire medical training, I'll let you in on a secret. What are we doing most of the time? Memorizing facts. And, and we keep saying when we're learning them in medical school and residency, what are these going to be for? I don't need to know this. I'm not going to be a surgeon. Why do I have to know this? In the end, that latest work that you set up in your brain for medical facts helps you later on. That's what AI is. AI is learning through machine learning and will accumulate information that can be used later on. So I view AI as a tool because I may not remember everything I learned in medical school and if I trust AI and I don't have a competition with it, it will remind me of things that I hadn't thought of or remind the patient to bring information to me that they hadn't thought of. All of that ups the game of medical encounters. But what you're pointing out is really important, which is it's doctors that have compassion. Mm -hmm. It's doctors that have bedside manner. It's doctors that have empathy. Machine learning cannot have empathy. AI is not going to, it may pretend it's empathetic mm -hmm. to you. We may teach it the words to use, but it really isn't. So the danger here is what kind of AI are we talking about? Is it highly skilled AI or is it the same AI that the public is using like Google Bard or ChatGPT? Right. I want it to be specialized AI for healthcare like we're seeing in radiology right now already. Uh, AI is changing radiology and cardiology because it's looking at images over and over and over at lightning speed that radiologists can't do in the same period of time. Radiologists are learning to rely on AI, but not to be replaced think, by AI. And I think doctor patients are excited about that, and and they're fine with help. You know, AI helping doctors get through their uh, paperwork and workload when it comes to office stuff. But when I think the fear is that this is going to limit one-on-one, -on -one, human to human interaction in the office. We already get so little time with those doctors because, you know, you're dealing with the nurses and things like that. Are you worried about that, that this would, you know, shorten that amount of time? I love the question because you, you put your finger exactly on the problem. We're already with our back to the patient writing in the computer. Eric Topol, who I've interviewed multiple, multiple times, head of Scripps Research in California, thinks that AI can be used to replace all that paperwork, freeing up doctors for the doctor-patient relationship. I think it remains to be seen. We don't want AI to be used to fill that gap that you already so accurately mm -hmm. described. We're not there enough. There's not enough of us. So we need more doctors, more hands-on care, and then AI as a co-pilot, not a pilot. Yeah, we got to go. Dr. Mark Siegel, I don't want AI to replace you. I think we're going to keep you forever. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. You have me on speed dial. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Don't worry. I'm, don't, we'll never be replaced. Thanks, Doc. Watch it. Have a good weekend.